Hello guys, today I will explain how to build a simple user registration form and login form in ASP.NET using c -sharp and BB.NET. I will make this video very short, so don't skip the video until end. So guys, first of all, I will make a simple user registration form user will fill up the registration form with some details such as username password email and address these details will be saved in the database table after registration by users they can log in so this login part i will explain in the next video so guys i am going to learn you with some example step by step step 1 create a database named login db which will contain the table name users with some columns like user id user name password email entry date last login date so let's see Here I set the column user id as primary key and the identity specification to yes auto incrementing so that the column user id will be automatically generated for the every new added row 
to do this select the column name that is user id and the column properties set the identity specification to yes and finally save the table name users step 2 html markup consists of three points point number one add a text boxes with their corresponding required field validators for username, password, and email. Point number two, add a button and a compare validator to validate passwords. Point number three, add a regular expression validator to validate the email address. So let's do it. Now it's time to create a registration form. So let's do it. Get a title of form.
now set the validation expression format of regular expression for email address i have already a format of email address so let's add this format now guys it's time to see the output of user interface of registration form so let's see the output this is the user registration form now if you click on submit button without field data in text boxes it will show validation messages of required field let's see and if you don't give same passwords then it will show passwords do not match message let's see so i am giving here two different passwords it will show passwords do not match because i have given two different passwords in the text boxes now if you don't put the valid email address it will show the message invalid email address let's see i have put here invalid email address if you click on submit button then it will show invalid email address so guys this interface looking is not good if you want to make this interface looking good or responsive site then you have to learn about bootstrap so i will explain about bootstrap in the next separate bootstrap tutorial guys if you fill text boxes with some valid data and then click on submit button data will be saved in database table users this database save part i will discuss in the next part of this tutorial i will make this tutorial in multiple parts so you can understand easily so guys if you have any issues up to this video regarding user registration form or you want to get the pdf of this tutorial please comment or mail me to this email address so i can guide you properly so guys if you like this video then please share with your friends and subscribe this big channel to get all important tutorial thank you for watching this video